and welcome back to the channel. Today is another battery day. You got it right. Oh, let me get it. This time we will test the XCNY. I think that's, that's how you pronounce it, or that's the name. And you might remember this one, sorry, this brand, we had already up there somewhere, the Ultra Mini battery. That one we tested already and now we do test the bigger brother or sister or whatever you want to call it. So let's start with that. This battery also comes with a product manual case. And you might remember before, oh, let me get my cloth back. You might remember before we had the Ultra Mini which did have the same case. It also came with, I believe, the same couple things like business cards, warranty support information, unfiltered voice of truth, um, more products and information. And then also it comes with this manual. We have the battery parameters here on this page, nine. So what we are looking for is rated capacity. What we're looking for is, here this is the information about the size. So we talked about the Ultra Mini, which is on this page 11. We are talking about this page here. I hope you can see that because this is actually this is actually the page we wanted to see so that's the dimensions about it and also it does come with two sets of bolts one is longer there actually the smaller ones are already in there and just come with another set they are longer the only thing which is a little disappointing in my opinion and that's just my opinion they do, they do come with the bolt the washer and the lock washer and they all fall apart when you take them off usually they stay on the bolt so those ones do not um i don't know why it must be the size or whatever of the washer and the lock washer it's a minor thing really nothing to consider but i wanted to mention it and highlight it and this battery test now will continue with uh, talking about the specification capacity test and then we'll take it apart to see how the build quality of this version is so we did speak already about the size of the battery i think no need to elaborate it more but it is Definitely no group 24, group 24 stops here somewhere. So this one does not. And yeah, looking at the battery, um, it does come, let's see, perfect for off-grid life. That's what they advertise it as well. This one, it looks like this one can be used up to 4P4S, which is great to see. As always, it does claim it's also built in 120 amp BMS to prevent battery failure. So that's great to hear and we'll see and check it. Failures like um, overcharge, over discharge, over current, short circuit, and high temperature. So that means high temperature cutoff, that's what we have to expect with this battery, and that's what we are testing it with. We'll do the capacity test first, as I mentioned, and after the capacity test, we'll see how it goes. We'll take a look at the build quality. So let's continue. Now we're getting to the capacity test of the XCNY. I hope I said it correct. Um, you might not see it, but back there it is. That's proof. And that's not the Mini, because the Mini <laughs> has an open lid. <laughs> so anyways, let's see what we can do here, and let's get it started, I would say. All right, let's see how much we can get. It's definitely more than point two c All right, that's what it should be around this area. And as always, I'll get back to you with the results as soon as we're done with it, and then we'll see and determine how good this battery did perform in the capacity test. Look at this. It reached 101.47 amp hour for this battery. Great, it passed the capacity test. That's great to see from the XCNY. I hope I said it correct. But um, this normal group, I guess 27 um, battery, which is the big brother, as I told you, of the Ultra Mini made it over 100 amp hours. Great. Let's continue with our testing and also how the build quality looks like inside. Great to see with 102 amp hours, I believe, this battery did pass the capacity test. There's nothing else to say about that. I want to see how this one is built inside. So let me open it up and then get you in. Let's take a closer look into the battery. Also, easy open battery. Let's see where we can get this. So, what we see first glance, we do have a positive wire, which is a six gauge. We have two eight gauge negative wires going to terminal. 
to the BMS. Also worth mentioning, uh, I can see those are the uh, so-called butterfly crimps over here. It's not hydraulically crimped, uh, at least not here. I think also not here, yeah. They're all, at least the ones I see here, they're not. So then we have, which is funny, let me see. Yeah, get it off on the BMS. We have this stack of high density foam, put it to the side. We do have our own branded XCNY uh, BMS, which looks familiar to the one, uh, maybe from another battery you've seen already on the channel. Here's a picture really quick of the BMS. We can see that um, to the main negative of the battery, we have two eight gauge wires as well. The balance leads over here. Let me see if you can see everything. Here, I hope that this is better now. So I talked about the positive, negative, the main negative over here going to the BMS. Uh, and then the balance leads over here. We do have most likely, it looks, yeah, a temperature switch over here, which is glued to the side. I have to take it off and try to get it off. Then we do have most likely glued BMS on top of the cells and it looks like, so we'll see, maybe we can get them out. Don't wanna to promise too much. Might also be like the Ultra Mini. This might be glued in very tough. So let me try to get it out and then we'll continue. Okay, same like with the Ultra Mini, it's very tough to get it out, very, very tough. That's why I'm not continuing hammering out. We can see maturity of it. Um, the only thing what I cannot see is underneath. The Ultra Mini was clued in so bad on the bottom, so I think that's the same with those ones. It's kind of tough to get them out. Even the epoxy board underneath, it's clued in kind of tight. Um, I was able to get the high temperature switch out, so <laughs> we'll be using that one a little bit. The BMS is clued on top. I don't see any screws. All the holes are free and empty and they're not used and utilized. And we see everything else but the bus bars. We do not see the leads, but it's hard to tell how the quality is underneath without entirely ripping this one off. Yeah, I tried a little bit more. It's very tough without destroying everything completely. And I would like to use as much as possible of the battery. So I was also thinking maybe you know more about it. You can buy those cases. So what they do is just slapping on a sticker usually. You can buy those cases empty. And when I disassemble one, I would like to reuse it somehow. Any ideas on where to buy those cases um, that they do fit basically what you see here? Let me know in the comment section below. But for this part, we will continue with the high temp cutoff test. So I'll uh, hook everything up. We do, oh, one thing I wanted to confirm was the 120 amps and that was advertised uh, on the Amazon page. By the way, this link for this one as well in the description below. 120 amps, that's what this BMS says. I mean, it's a sticker, but it should, right? So I assume that's correct. All right, let me, yeah, let me continue with the item cutoff test and then we'll see uh, what else we can get out of it. Okay, on to the next. So here we have the high temp cutoff test and I'll be using the heat gun and heat this thing up. You can see here it's charging right now. I'm gonna test it if it stops charging. And it just stopped. It was blurry, but I hope um, you saw that. <laughs> awesome. That's good. Let's see when we get the temperature back down. Just continue charging. And there it is back. Perfectly fine. Good. No need to test any cold temp cutoff. It just doesn't make sense because it only has the high temp switch. All right. Let's wrap it up. Very good, we're done with uh, this battery. We checked it out, capacity is great. I sadly didn't see the prismatic cells inside better, which is still unknown. Let me know if you wanna see more details, anything else, please put it in the comment section below. As always, like the video if you like that stuff. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me and I can continue my work, kind of this style, or maybe um, change it to whatever you wanna see because um, I would like to make it interesting to you. Maybe there are very specific um, things you need to know about the batteries I'm testing. And, and of course there are other batteries, 24 and 48 volt batteries coming. 
down the line. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Thanks for watching. Cheers.